Hi everyone and welcome to a new foundation series. This is on a map that I created that I'm calling uh, Twisty River. It is based on a map by Piakina called Mathola. Uh, I have kept the main river pretty much intact. Uh, very little changes from that map. However, I've changed just about everything else, including the layout of the berries, the stones, and then the um, terrain. I used the Minecraft map maker World Painter to uh, adjust the height of the uh, land around it and then export height maps and then uh, manually placed everything else. Uh, spent about 10, 11 hours on the map total uh, trying to get the, uh, you know, the trees off the stone this time. And uh, I've got pines basically at the higher elevations and all the deciduous trees at the lower elevation. And uh, I made sure to have a lot of starting zones. So when you play this map, you can start at various locations all around the map. The cast of characters comes in from either side of the river, close to the edge of the screen, on over there or on the other side here. And uh, there's plenty of fish on this map. Uh, I've got it paused now, but you can see the uh, bubbles in the water. Plenty of fish on this map, I would hope. But uh, I'll try to fish them all. We'll see how that goes. Uh, the berries are all grouped down near the river. Uh, they go a little ways up, like for instance, uh, I think this is the furthest you get away from the river to have berries, but there's not berries anywhere else. The berries on this map I purposely grouped down next to the water. Stone is uh, various, uh, scattered here and there around the map. Iron, uh, you can see one clump of iron up there, but uh, it's around mostly, mostly in the hills. There's another clump of iron right there. And uh, trees, yeah, like I said, deciduous down in the valley pines up on the hills and then there's this unusually flat area right here almost perfect for building a large structure of some sort right in here and then maybe a bridge going across to here which just happens to be the same height as here and uh, I, then I tried to add uh, some more hills back in here so that we're not dealing with totally flat land so that you know you can build like windmills and stuff up here but anyway I'm getting ahead of myself because we've got to get this village started so what piece of land am I going to take and let me talk through this here I think this is probably the most challenging because of the lack of trees possibly close to this one as well I'm not taking either one of those I am debating between this one on this side plenty of trees or this one, even more trees. It's hard to get small berry groupings when you make these maps. And so a lot of my berry groupings are larger. Uh, there's plenty of berries here. And then the stone, there's a little clump of stone over here. I think I'm gonna take this one just because it's got a lot of trees, uh, a lot of area for housing and such. It's got just a little bit of access to the water so I can start fishing if I want to. I took it, there we go. And it's time to turn on the user interface, unpause, and get going. Uh, we have to build, build that village center. So here we go. Where am I going to put the village center? I feel like if we came trouncing in here, we would probably stop near the water to put down our first uh, claim. And uh, so let's put the village center uh, right here, fairly close to the water. There we are. So who are our cast of characters here? Wrong button. Our cast of characters. I am using a somewhat custom name list that has some names from the medieval list that I've edited and uh, has a few names from a few other lists, but mostly the uh, medieval name list. So we have Anselin, Maudlin, Huidi, Huidmar, Avila, Alia, May, Drew, and Matilde are our starting villagers. That's some great hair you got going on there. Uh, so let's get going. I'm just going to follow the quest. So the, the, these beginning quests, we're going to build a lumber camp. Let's do that. And uh, here's the lumber camp. And uh, big negative, I'm going to place it over here because I know the stone camp is going to be a negative as well. So we will place it uh, right up against the border here. Right there. And uh, we're going to have to assign some builders. Uh, let's see. Uh, you shall be a builder. And Drew, you shall be a builder. There's two builders. Good for us. 
And then uh, I'm going to already go to speed two here. And we're going to get that lumber camp built. I'm going to go ahead and set a an extraction zone so it doesn't yell at me. Well, first off, let's put an extraction zone around this big berry clump. And then let's say we're going to cut down... We're going to cut down all these trees near the river. There we go. That's, that's what you can cut down. Kind of, kind of got carried away there, but that's what you can cut down once we build that lumber camp. Building complete lumber camp. All right. Um, there we go. Let's just assign two, Aaliyah and Anselin, uh, to the lumber camp. And, yep, I did the extraction zone way ahead of you. Quest to produce berries. All right, let's uh, do a gathering hut. And we'll put the gathering hut right in here. There we go. And uh, you're bringing tin wood. That's good. And we'll go ahead and start building a market here because I know I'm going to need one. By the way, I, I, the mods I'm using uh, or will be using um, are all in the description of the video. You can see a lot of them here. Floodplains, which is a really neat mod. Fantasy decorations. Medieval stone walls. Sunflowers and roses. This is a remake or an update of the old, uh, I think it was Mr. McMustache originally uh, made the Row, the climbing rose set, which was just really cool looking, and uh, this has been updated. The window set and the stone gate set from VJ Raymon. Uh, the water mill set, which I may or may not use. I'm not sure I like how the buildings look. And uh, I'm here to create a market, a food stall, and uh, we will put the food stall. Let's see. Um, I'm going to build some houses around here, so let's put the food stall right up here. I'm going to have to put a well in too. No tent yet. Start construction. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the well in. Get that going. And yes, I'm going to put it right around the center to hide this stuff. And uh, there we go. Put the well in. Did the very hut complete? It did. Uh, we're going to have to put in a granary right quick. Let's just put one in right now. McTilled. And uh, while you're doing that, we're going to have to build a granary to hold those barriers or else we're not going to sell them. Granary doesn't have any negative. I'm going to go ahead and put it down next to the coast, kind of. I don't want to take out any trees. Uh, I think right about there looks good. We'll just put it here for now. You never know, right? Brand new city. Brand new start. I like this little, I like this little valley here. I could have spent another five days on the map. I, I kept tweaking it and tweaking it and tweaking it. And finally, it's just like you got to stop and just play the game. Uh, produce a granary. We're doing it. Uh, also need a stonecutter camp. It's the one thing that I don't think they tell you you need. And so naturally I always forget to create it. But uh, we're not going to have any stone to build the well unless I build a stonecutter's camp. So let's put it right there. And I think it's already in the extraction zone. It is. I'll have to make sure to redraw it. Um, but we can get that stonecutter's camp going. Against my better judgment, I did mix in, I'm going to say, 1% pine trees in with the deciduous. Just because I've been so anti-pine for so long, uh, why not have a mix of trees? All right, stonecutter camp's complete. Uh, one stonecutter, please. We're going to need... Uh, no, I, I was about to say we're going to need a warehouse to store the stone. We do not. Uh, you definitely will want a warehouse to store stone eventually, but you don't need it for... Uh, villagers to pick up the stone. They can pick up the stone right from the stonecutter's camp. Unlike food and other things that you sell have to be taken from either a granary or a warehouse depending on whether it's food or a good like clothing. Is this thing done yet? What are we waiting on? We're missing five stone. All right. Well, let's bump it up to two stonecutters then. All right. We're going to store berries and berries, at least two berries. We don't have any villagers to assign, so I am going to take a stone cutter. There we go. Quest complete, granary. Quest completed. Fill the needs of your newcomers. Increasing your population by maximizing immigration probability. Raise the happiness of your village to 100. Uh, assign a job to all villagers. Check. Can we actually get to 100 here? 
course, there's always that one person that doesn't want to take a break and get some food. There she goes. Grab some food. 100. Okay. Quest completed. From the one people who are passing by, one decided to join. They should be coming in where? Are they coming in over here? Let's see if we can find them. Yep, there's the dude right there. There he is. You can kind of see the path here. He'll start right over here and then come in. And unfortunately, I can't get him to follow the river exactly. That would be nice. And uh, last time I checked, they like to come up and over this hill and then down. What are you going to do? There he is, right there. Coming into the village. What's his name? Immediately gets food. It's Haman. All right, uh, Haman. The kingdom recognizes your efforts in establishing your settlement. I am but your humble servant. We get four kingdom influence, four labor influence, and we'll give you the quest promote first newcomers. All right. Uh, yeah, you're going to be a stone cutter. Hopefully you're okay with that. If I can find the stone cutter camp. There you go. Were we given the, uh, we were given the residential zone. All right, where do we want to put houses in? Let's put houses in back in here. There we go. And uh, we can come around here, but that's going to be the first residential zone. All right. And the rest, uh, our tree cutters are going to cut down. Uh, what do we got? We got 33 wood. Okay. Build a Lord Manor. Assign a Great Hall function to a Lord Manor. Now, the Lord Manor, I believe, takes planks. Does it not? One Lord Manor, ten planks. That means I need to build a sawmill. Very tricky. Very tricky. Not telling me I needed to build a sawmill first. Sawmill will go over next to the Stonecutter Camp. Kind of right in the middle here. Now, let's go against... Ooh! One of one with a ding! <laughs> um, yeah, let's go like this. That's good. Let's get that built. And uh, let's see. Lord Manor, assign a great hall. Unlock the warehouse from the labor estate panel. Okay, that's right. We got some influence. And uh, for the warehouse, I need uh, more new. I need 10 newcomers to build a warehouse. And that's it. We don't need any splendor. So we're almost there. Uh, actually, number 10 is coming in right now, right? Probably going to walk right across there. She did walk right across there. You know, that's nothing a fence won't solve. That's what I'm saying. All right. Splendor, Splendorage of Splendor Warehouse. There we go. All right. We're going to need a warehouse eventually. I want to build this first. How's that going? Drew is uh, bringing 20 wood. Boom. How many stone do we have? 21 stone. We should make short work of that. There we go. Sawmill's done. Aquila is new. You're going to be cutting some wood. All right. Now we can build a warehouse, which we'll want to do next. It's always questionable uh, whether the warehouse or the Lord Manor. Um, I think the warehouse to open up a trade route, and then I'll start with the Lord Manor. The The Lord Manor is going to take tools, and we're, short, we're running short on tools. We only have 10 tools left. This warehouse is a big negative again, so let's put the warehouse right here. And uh, Avila is bringing four planks, and we only we, we only had four planks to our name. All right, uh, Nicolina has arrived. Alla has arrived. Uh, I am behind here. I need to assign both of those to the sawmill so we can get some planks done because we're still waiting for the planks to get finished to finish this warehouse so we can set up the trade route. We do have the planks. The plank number is going up. And then Lord Manor, where should I build it? I think, oh, as soon as I start to move, it's finished. All right. Uh, we'll do tools in slot one. And we'll do wood in slot two. And we'll do planks in slot three. And we'll do stones in slot four. And as soon as our new villager gets in, which was uh, one of one and another ding, by the way, but uh, with only one, it's not hard to do. Look at that path. I don't... Yeah, fence. Definitely need a fence. Here they come. Um, one dude walking through the tall grass. The little village. I'm, I'm just trying to picture what this thing's going to look like in five or six or seven episodes once it really starts to build up. 
I know a bridge will be here. A big stone bridge will be right here to go across. I know our first big church is going to go up on the hill, which I will call a castle eventually. Uh, all right, looks like somebody's here. It is uh, Theodricus. Uh, you are for the warehouse, and we do have tools there. So, uh, it's time to open up a trade route, he says, hoping we have all oh, we did. We did have 20 planks. Where'd the planks go? I didn't order anything that required planks to be built. There, they're back. Ding, ding, ding. Trading resources. Uh, tools. Uh, we want to buy tools. F buy until inventory reaches 20. There we go. That finishes that. Uh, now the Lord Manor. Okay. Well, I think pretty easy peasy here. Um, I want the front to be facing the sun. <laughs> Just because. If I'm going to build a Lord Manor, I want the front to look good. And uh, we're going to do Lord Manor, and I'm going to use the uh, rustic version. Um, sorry, that's not what they call it, but I don't like the Tudor. Is that the, the style here? I like just the wood. So, yeah, I would live uh, I would live near the coast right here. And uh, we don't have to build it on our property, so that's good. We'll build it high enough that I can put one of the doors. Should I just put a little wood door in, or a little stone door in front? I think so. We can do that. There we go. And then uh, any extra pieces... Well, we've got to have a chimney. Uh, I'll pass on the fountain. This version doesn't have a place to put any banners, unfortunately. Uh, we can put a weather vane in. Excuse me, the game calls it a weathercock. Take your word for it, man. And uh, no tower yet. We'll need treasury eventually. We'll put on one of these little sheds here. Uh, unless, of course, the neighborhood... Uh, the neighborhood doesn't allow unattached sheds, but it allows attached sheds, okay? That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. So, we'll put you back there. Oh, you overlap a little bit. I don't want to take out that tree. Oh, that tree's being taken out. All right, there's two rooms. Can we go three rooms? Can I put one in the back? I don't want to take out that big oak, though. Not happening. All right. Uh, so that's all with the house. Okay, can I put in a tower? Holy cow, that tower is huge. It's bigger than the house. Um, there. What are we looking at? Forty-two planks, thirty-five stone. Yeah, it did. It did get rid of that oak in the back. Okay, what if I? What if I put it there? The little piece still is in the back. This kind of is in the front. Um, let me twist it around so I can have windows. There, like that. Yeah, you can still see that thing in the back. Uh, you can still see one window there. Uh, that's interesting looking, he says. Interesting looking. I like the way this tree stays there. Yep, let's do it and get it done. There we go. Really could use... Hey, people are coming in. Hab, buddy. Uh, I assume. You're going to be a builder. Yep, Hab the builder. Habitat. And uh, Ganlia. Mm, not really sure. Oh, I know. Yeah. Gathering hut. Produce more, more berries. And uh, there still should be enough places to build. We uh, signed another builder. This is good. And uh, we're up to 7 planks, 32 stone, uh, 10 cloth, which I'm not using yet, 12 berries, 20 tools. So the trader's been here. Trader guy also comes in from over there. Uh, yeah, all these trees are gone. Look at that. So how about we expand the residential area then? Because this has a higher property value. So let's expand the residential area into here. Average to low. Yeah, quit your complaining. Uh, chop it out around here so you're not bothered. But, um, yeah, I think somebody could build in here eventually. Sure. How are we doing here? We got a ways to go. We need a lot of planks. All right. Do I have all the... Oh, we're going to run out of wood. We have all three people working here. 
Wood is down to zero because, hey dummy, you can have one more person. Don't dismay, it's, oh, it's, it's Elaine. <laughs> Ismay is going to be uh, something else. Should have manually put that, put Ismay in there. I'm dismayed that Ismay is not in there. We need planks bad. You know what? They're probably running low of wood. Uh, we're going to have to... Actually, it's funny. They haven't complained yet, but it looks to me like they are out of trees to chop down. So, I see that as a problem. Uh, did I get... We started the trade route. Does that mean I got the free property? Did I just forget that uh, that's how you get the free property? It says free. Uh-huh. Okay, well, let's think about this. Trees, some trees, some trees, trees, lots of trees. Nope, that, there we go, right there, because that's all trees, and it's free. I didn't even realize that. And, yeah, now um, you guys are going to cut down all these trees. Cut them down. Now I'm regretting not going denser with the trees. But, yeah, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. And then as far as residential goes, we'll uh, peek the residential out a little further up the hill there. Okay. So yes, we are, we are, we were slowed a little bit because I forgot I got, I got free land with the trade route. And uh, we're hitting right up, in, right up against 500, plus 19. Uh, does the budget tell us anything? We're plus 60 for the week and we can only hold 500 until I turn that tower into our first treasury. You know what? There's no reason not to build another lumber camp. It seems to me I make this similar mistake every time where I resist building the second lumber camp. Yes, it's a negative. I can squeeze it in over here um, so it's not affecting this area too badly. There, so I'm gonna go build that. Uh, waiting for a builder. Is May. I wanted to do pig Latin there. <laughs> Is May build a the lumber camp bay? I don't remember my pig Latin. Dang it. I'm going to need pig Latin lessons. Uh, building complete gathering hut. Oh, yeah. That was stealing our wood as well. Anyway, uh, this will get us some more wood faster. And uh, transporters. Yeah, only Theodricus. Yeah, you can go over there and grab wood. And so what else are you going to do all day? Bang on the drums. All right. This could be going a lot faster. Or I will most likely edit the video so it looks like it's going faster. But this could certainly go faster if I just get my act in gear. Although I really do enjoy the early game. Uh, just watching everybody walk around. I mean, at some point, the town starts to get so big, you can't just follow everybody around because everybody's moving everywhere but we're mainly on just one square here. Uh, oh, Building Complete Lord Manor, check it out. It's uh, month three, week three, day three. All right, here we go. Two of one, oh man. Uh, select function for, see how the wood, ex puts the wood extension first? Then the extension, then the wooden tower. Wood ex oh, wood extension is the main part, okay. Right, this is the big part. This is the Great Hall. This little extension is going to be the study room. And the wooden tower is going to be our first treasury. We can hold 860 of the gold. Nobody in the study room yet. I just want to get that set up. Okay. And yes, of course the front of this thing is in the... I'm sorry, we may have to tear down your house for photographic purposes. Just warning you. Uh, yeah, that looks good. Looks good with the oak, with the big oak. One of the bigger oaks, right in the back. Love the oaks. How can anybody like pines? I did. Okay, if we want to talk about the pines briefly, you can adjust the coloring of the trees in map mode, and I did darken these pines so that they're more similar to the pines on the hills map than they are to the pines on um, some of the newer maps. They're still not as dark as the pines on the hill map. If you open up the hill map, these pines are really, really dark. 
kind of regretting I didn't do that. But can't change it now. All right. What are you guys doing? What am I building? At the end of the month, promote people to serfs. Right. So all our original villagers were promoted to serfs. So we have the eight serfs. The eight original auto-promote to serf. Uh, bootstrap. Bootstrap to serf. The 11 newcomers need to go to serf or else they're going to move out. And I need money for that, 465. So I don't want to spend too much money because another mistake I make early is that I end up doing too much building and I don't have enough money to, to promote everybody to surf. We have 44 stone. I feel like uh, a well might be something good to build. Yeah, let's put a well back here because we're going to need one eventually anyway. And uh, we'll put it right in this clearing. There we go. And now we have Oda and Osithia. Um, you're going to help us bring our wood numbers up. There we go. Uh, $541 gold, excuse me. All these people want to be promoted to surf. Thank you very much. And that opens up the second tier of buildings. Your army is growing stronger. We will offer you some more challenging missions from now on. Mmm, I haven't built a keep yet. Long live the loot, or king. Okay. <laughs> we haven't built a keep yet. Uh, we can build a keep. I need to unlock it. Um, I'll go ahead and, un and unlock the keep. And uh, there we go. We shall allow you to st we shall allow you to establish an outpost on, outpost on your territory. As such, you will be able to participate in military campaigns for your liege. Do not forget that this is a privilege. Tell his majesty to uh, yay. You have a quest, build a new wooden keep. And you know what? That's going to be for next time. Uh, the wooden keep is going to go on top of the hill. And uh, we have 290. And if I want to buy, uh, this is going to cost me 500. Oh, the keep does not have to be built on my property. But uh, I wanted to get through the very beginning. So this acted as an introduction to a new series and not exactly a tutorial but uh, hopefully did show all the steps needed. Even though I stumbled through them as I usually do. But you know what? I only start the game up so many times. And I bet you in the next version, whenever that is, they tweak the starting the start of the game again. All right, after some renovation, uh, this house is uh, gone. Um, and they're rebuilding right over here. Um, we have some people coming in. Uh, what I want to do real quick is... Do not authorize housing density upgrade. Good. So that's fixed. Uh, no house will build here now so we can see my house nice and clear. Also, um, two mods that I use to uh, redirect this path. Uh, this one is the medieval stone wall set. And uh, I think I've shown this before, but I'll show it again. Look at all the pieces that you can work with. All of them. So I put what appears to be an old foundation uh, right around here. And, uh, you know, just to block the path. And then I went ahead and did another kind of broken wall kind of thing uh, right up the side here. So these, uh, these punks won't be tempted to walk down here. Hopefully they'll redirect. Watch them walk on the other side of the wall. There is one immigrant coming in. Uh, so we'll see eventually. And then uh, I loaded up the fantasy decoration set. And, uh, oh boy. I mean, I'll just scroll slowly through everything that is in this set. Look at all this stuff. Look at it. Look at it. But you get down here to the flowers and the bushes. These bushes, for one thing, it's a monument, so you can put them anywhere. Two, these bushes do have the plus to desirability, just like the other bushes do. And uh, they come in different shades. Uh, I picked purple for the house. And then I figure, you know what? There's not enough purple in the game, really. So uh, I scattered some purple flowers here and there. But uh, anyway, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm convinced that that's an old foundation of a ruined house so that they can't walk through there. And uh, if you look on this side, you can see I did a little corner thing. I mean, I mean, really, this looks so cool. Turn off that pesky user interface. This looks so cool in here and uh, with these old trees. Yeah. So we're all we're already in the medieval days. So if this is an ancient house, you know what is it? What is it before medieval? That's pretty ancient. But uh, here comes the dude. 
All right. Oh, I didn't. I didn't catch to see which way he walked here, but he's gonna have to walk around here, right? There he goes around. You're gonna walk right over that flower, aren't you? Yeah, it could be believable that he missed the flower, and he walks in. That is going to be it for this first episode, and uh, no, I'm not gonna go to 30 minute foundation episodes. They will be my my usual 40 minutes or so. Uh, because as the city gets bigger, it's very hard to do things in 30 minutes. But for the first episode, we'll stop at 30 minutes. And we'll stop with the view of uh, the house and the jumping... Oh, not that close. The house and the jumping fish and the uh, ancient structure here that is uh, carefully blocking the berries. Oh, I could have watched... The, is that the trader guy? I could have seen if the trader guy uh, walked where I wanted him to walk. Oh, well, we'll have to check it out next next time to see if he's making a path. But anyway, that's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you later. Yo, trader guy. <laughs>